Today I want to talk about testing the power of a ballast. A ballast is usually this black box that's inside of a fluorescent tube lighting fixture. Fairly simple. This is how we're going to start. It should show zero on your meter. You can see here I have it on 500V. First, we'll simply start by connecting the power to the ballast itself. Test the input power. There you have it. it shows 118. Sometimes it fluctuates. It should be anywhere from like 122 to 110. That What that tells us is that we have power going into the, the ballast itself. Now, what we wanna see is if the ballast is working. In some cases, there's multiple wires according to how many fluorescent light bulbs you'll have in your uh, fixture, in your light fixture. In this case, it's fairly simple. We have a red wire and a blue wire. To test these, you can go to either end, and what you want to do is you want to find uh, a part that shows metal. In this case, what I'll do is I'll use a flathead screwdriver, I'll twist, there's a little plastic fitting in there, I'll twist it as if there's a light bulb in there. It should show a metal contact on both ends. There we go. Real simple. We're gonna put one on one end and one on the other end. There we have it. I've got a reading that fluctuates. It, it's showing a fluctuate, uh, a fluctu a fluctuation, uh, an assortment. So we have the highest number reaches 59, and it fluctuates. It goes all the way down to the teens, all the way up to 59, 66, 42. It fluctuates. It, it's a pulse. Um, everything from zero five all the way up to 72 and everything in between. So when you're testing the ballast, I mean, if you wanna see if it works, uh, it doesn't actually give me an output on here. This ballast was made by Cooper Lighting. Um, the only thing it shows an input, the input is 120 all the way up to 277 volts, uh, 50 to 60 hertz. <laughs>
Thank you.